The absence of these fingerprints is not neutral, it's disconfirming. The global flood narrative does not fail because science is hostile to ancient texts. It fails because reality is consistent. Events of this magnitude cannot disappear without residue. They leave scars in rock, genes, climate, and memory. The flood narrative requires a world that no longer exists, and more importantly, never did. Let's move on to a claim of astronomical proportions. The sun standing still. The account in Joshua describes a military battle in which Joshua commands the sun and the moon to stop moving so Israel could complete its victory. The text states that the sun stood still and the moon stopped, resulting in an abnormally long day. This is presented not as a subjective experience or poetic perception, but as a physical alteration of celestial motion. Taken literally, the claim asserts a direct intervention in the mechanics of the cosmos. If the sun and moon appeared to stop in the sky for an extended period, only two physical scenarios are possible. Either the Earth's rotation slowed or stopped, or the motion of the solar system itself was altered locally. Both options represent planetary scale events. There is no version of this claim that could affect only a single battlefield in Canaan while leaving the rest of the planet untouched. Celestial mechanics are global by definition. 